My super dudes and dudettes, today I had a chance, a friend of mine called me actually and said, Alejandro, I just got myself the new S8, the 2020 S8, the Audi, it's amazing, I want you to drive it and tell me what you think of it. So I went and picked it up this morning and oh my god, Audi has never been too flashy on their design on the outside, so you're not, you're not expecting here to see something that you're gonna be like, whoa, I'm drooling all over the car, but my god, this thing is one of the most incredible cars I've ever driven, and this is what I'm gonna do, I just wanna tell you guys all of my favorite points in this car and I'm gonna start with the engine it's got that four liter v8 twin turbo that produces 570 horsepower from Lamborghini basically what you find in an Urus that engine is glorious glorious in this car because it takes this car from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds and I want to remind you guys this is something that competes against the s63 AMG and the s63 can't even get close to that number this is unreal engine is one of my favorite parts then the lights when you turn on the car the lights on the front and on the back it's one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen design wise I don't think anyone's doing it better than Audi with their lights oh my god What about the suspension? This is a very, very smart suspension. And this is the first trick that the suspension does that I wanna show you. So let's say that it's the morning, you wanna get in your car, you open your door, and the car just lifts up like that. It goes up two inches so that it's easier for your ass and more comfortable to get into the seat rather than traveling another extra two inches dipping down below. And as soon as you get into the car, the car goes down again and then you're set to go. It's unreal. That was the first thing that blew my mind. That's one of my favorite parts in this car. The suspension is so smart. And once we drive it, I'll get to the other point in the suspension. And when you leave the car, it does the same thing. It goes up and then you close the door, it goes back down and it's unreal. The interior in this car is one of my favorite things I've ever seen in my life. And the reason why is there's so many little things that are so amazing. Like for example, the vents right here, these vents are always hidden, right? So if you want to open one, all you need to do is slide your finger across like that and then you'll see carbon fiber goes in and the air vent comes right out. This is one of the most beautiful, most sophisticated, yet sporty, young and, and old school interior I've ever seen in my life. Also, the speaker is high. So, I mean, the fact that the interior is so smart and so sexy and so sleek and so sporty and young at the same time that it's, that it's for someone older, it makes this car perfect. Any car you can take to a funeral and to a party is perfection. And this is exactly that. Man, I also love the screens on top of them being the Lamborghini screens, the fact that it's uh, haptic feedback and you can make everything into a button, right? No matter what you click, it's gonna sound and give you feedback. It's, ah, oh, it's amazing. It's so well done. <laughs> the interior, oh my God, what can I tell you about the interior? All of the materials, man, from the Alcantara that goes by the door, the buttons, the piano black wood, it's unreal, then how you open the door just with minimal effort, just like that. Even the chimes are so nice in the car. These buttons for the windows are so solid and so great. Speakers, the leather, this, this is one of the best seats I've ever sat in my life. I can't believe it's an Audi. Also the steering wheel for this thing, it's perfect. It's subtle, it's sporty, it's elegant, it's everything. This interior is bananas, guys. From all of the carbon that you see right here in the mixture of the black piano wood, it's other level. And of course, you're gonna see some Lamborghini elements right here like in the Urus because Audi and Lamborghini are owned by V. W and they share parts and software too. This is so gorgeous. And what about the headliner with the double sunroof? What about that? And all of the Alcantara up here and even these, like your lights, they're so sweet and elegant. This is perfection. This is how you're supposed to make a car. This is a $130,000 car. That's right, $130,000. And you get all of this in the car and it drives amazingly. And we'll get to that point in a second.
He's a really well-rounded sedan and of course sitting on the back is one of the most essential things in this car So making sure that he's comfortable. This is one of my favorite parts right here. Are you guys ready? I'm just gonna click this button right here And you guys are gonna see that seat go away You're gonna see me start reclining right here. My seat stopped reclining, but guess what TV's gonna go up Just wait for it. Wait for it. And then the next part is my favorite TV and that's why right. you have a place to put your feet on. Oh my God. Oh, Audi, have my baby, please. This is unreal. And the best part of it is you can manage everything from right here. That's right. You have a tablet that throws the AC, the intensity of the, of the AC, the fan, and you can have that in your hand and just control everything from here while you're reclining and just watching a DVD because that's right. You have a six DVD player right there and in here, you're gonna click that and it opens some storage so you can put your little thing right there and back there is just the trunk access to the trunk all right little bunny you're staying in there my god the the back seat of this thing is amazing i mean all of the interior everywhere you look it's perfection there's not one piece of material that i'm like oh this is meh like not one and then what about how discreet the, the window shades are you just gotta do this one more time here and you guys saw how that opened so fast so quiet look at that and then right here you have another button for the ones on the back oh i love this car i love it, it, it what <laughs> Now we're driving the S8. This morning when I picked up the car, the first thing that I noticed was, oh man, I don't have my phone plugged in in here, so I'm not gonna be able to listen to the music. And I drove, and then I listened to this. And I was freaked out because there's no road noise whatsoever. How are the tires doing that? And then I looked it up and I found out that it was foam that they put on the tires so they can cancel the road noise. And that's insane. But then I kept driving more. And then I realized I really, I really can't hear anything. What's that all about? So I immediately looked it up too. And the reason why you can't hear anything in this car, it's got noise canceling technology in it. What exactly do I mean by that? I mean that the speakers inside of the car make a sound offsetting whatever frequency is outside. So it's just like wearing noise canceling headphones, but in a car. I've never in my life seen that and it's unreal how good it is. You legitimately can't hear anything and it's freakish. Then what about the engine vibration, Alejandro? That was the first thing I also noticed. It's got a V8 and I don't feel the engine vibrating in the car. It almost feels like an electric car. How is that possible? Well, Audi decided to stuff a frame around the engine that actually doesn't let any of the vibration from the engine coming to the cabin. So that's how they make and they excel at this incredibly comfortable car. It's made to be quiet. It's made to be perfect for you to be driven in it or for you to drive it. So let's get into that. What about the suspension? The suspension freaked me out immediately because I was going over a speed bump and I didn't feel anything. And I was like, wait a second, what was that? And then I went into another speed bump and I couldn't feel anything again. And I said, okay, what's going on in here? And I went and looked it up and the car actually races in five tenths of a second before getting into a speed bump, the car races and then the wheels do this. And then they go over the speed bump, taking all of the hit themselves so that you don't feel it in the cabin. The other thing the smart suspension does, and that, that's done with a camera that's right in front of my rear view mirror, which is incredible. The other thing that the suspension does, which is insane, is as you're turning and you're going slowly and taking your time, the car, instead of just leaning into the turn or going like this, it just finds a way to balance itself out so that the cabin is always flat, which is nuts. And then you're gonna say, well, what about when you wanna drive it hard? That's gonna be bad for you know hard turns and steering well don't worry about it the car knows when you're pushing the car and immediately throws itself into the turn to make it more comfortable if you're really pushing the car the car actually knows what it's doing and remember it's got different driving modes which allows them to do that so the suspension works to make it so comfortable while you're driving to make it so that you don't feel any of the street, but also if you wanna push the car, the suspension adapts with it. It's unreal. The other thing I love about this car is so simple. It's actually this. Whoa, I mean, the car is so fast. I mean, it does zero to 16, 3.8 seconds, but at the same time, 
I want to say it, it feels much, much faster, much, much faster when you're looking at that speedometer because the car actually doesn't not let you feel the speed, which is exactly the opposite of what a Lamborghini Aventador does, for example. The engine makes such an incredible note at some point. It almost sounds like it's got an electric charge hitting it. it it's so cool. The paddles are incredible. The transmission is perfect. How did they make this car so that you want to sit on the back as much as you want to be on the driver's seat? The leather is incredible. The materials are amazing from the wood to the carbon to the uh, Alcantara. Uh, I mean, the leather right behind me is unreal. Un fucking real this is the greatest sedan ever made and it's only starting at hundred and thirty thousand dollars that makes no sense whatsoever comparing it to the rolls royce ghost the only thing the ghost has on it is it feels more substantial and it's got more chrome so it feels more elegant obviously different type of car but when it comes to the s class when it comes to the 750 I don't think they're anywhere near where this car is. This was the greatest surprise ever. The sound system is incredible too in the car. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, what the fuck? Is, the only thing that's wrong is that Serge is gonna just be dancing around me telling me I told you so for a long time and I fucking hate that. But other than that, this car is perfection. And you know what? I'm done driving it hard and I'm just gonna put it in comfort plus mode. Mm. How is this? a real thing other thing that really helps you is rear wheel steering so it has rear wheel steering and it goes against the tires when you're going slowly like in that u-turn that i just made so it makes everything so much easier and it also makes the car feel lighter on its feet and smaller but when you're going at high speeds those rear wheels go into the same direction that the front wheels do and the reason why they do that is because you're driving so fast shifting and moving the car from one place to another that makes it more agile and efficient the rear wheel steering also makes a big difference and we're talking about an audi so it's an all-wheel drive car but it's favorable to the rear wheels so it does a 60 40 split with the front with the front wheels and the car does feel a little tail happy and you can actually edit that and, and the tires can actually send all of the torque to to the back ones at some point so it's a playful car it's a comfortable car it's the most silent car i've ever been it's the most incredible suspension work i've ever seen the materials are fucking flawless Let, let's just say flawless there's nothing in here that i'd say oh my god i don't like this what's there not to love can someone please help me and let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite sedan right now because i think audi just took over mercedes just took over bmw and they're ahead on the race yeah the new S-Class is about to come out, but the bar is really, really high. And when I went to pick up my friend's S8, I never, never, not once expected that I would be in love with the car as much as I am right now. What the fuck, Audi? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one and take care. <laughs>